Richard, good to see you. Shall we start off with a quick mention about last week? How, how much fun was that to be involved in? Yeah, it was really enjoyable. Obviously, uh, just having the fans there and, and being on, on you know the home turf and just everything collectively, especially for me personally, being injured and then, um, you know, we've had quite a few away games. Um, and then, you know, just everything tied in perfectly in terms of confirming playoffs and having the fans and, and the atmosphere and the win and the way that we won and played. Everything was down to a T, so couldn't ask for better. Yeah, and it has taken the pressure off this week. I know you'll still put the pressure on and I know you still want to have that home quarter final, which is at stake. But it, it has, to an extent, taken a bit of pressure off at the end of the season because the last <clears> thing you want really is to go into the final day of the season still needing something from you. Yeah, of course, it's it's positive that we've um, been able to to achieve that. But obviously, the job's not done. We we still need to to get the win. Um, it's still a, a massive uh, demand that we put on ourselves. So we'll be going into the game now differently. And uh, obviously, you know about Bromley, um, and they've got an opportunity of getting themselves into the playoffs as well. So you know what it would mean to them, and how much is at stake for them this weekend as well. Yeah, and you know, like I say, I think. Um, for us, it's no different in terms of the way that we apply ourselves. Um, we have to be aware that Bromley is a must win for them. Uh, they'll be going into it, giving it their absolute all. So, you know, with their, they'll have their home fans there and they'll be wanting to put on a, put on a good performance. And at um, the end of the day, we won't be allowing that and we'll be going there doing what we, we do. And that's making sure we give it 110%. Yeah, I guess last weekend, like you were the ones having the, the party with the home supporters there and that opportunity and, and succeeding and guaranteeing your playoff place. You're there kind of to, to stop their party in a way this weekend, aren't you? Absolutely, absolutely. It's, um, that's the absolute must in terms of what we want to do. We're, we're going in to, to be positive and um, look to get the win. So, um, yeah, looking forward to it. How's this week been? It's actually a rare sort of midweek off. And since you got back from injury, it's been game after game after game. Has it mm. been a sort of welcome few days for you? Yeah, it has a little bit. It's um, I've not really had until you mentioned it. I've not really had time to think about it. That's how non-stop it's been. So, um, yeah, it's good to kind of have a little breather now, and and you know, uh, for the the squad to train and and not have that Tuesday and and being able to put more time on the pitch. And for myself, on that subject of being injured, it's the, for me, it's been a case of getting back in um, on the training pitch, full you know, training with the team every single day, and then trying to get used to uh, you know, a new style of play with a new manager coming in, um, getting my fitness up to scratch and, and you know, I could run on a treadmill or run with the physios outside all day, but that match fitness is very, very different. So being patient and getting all of that back, um, it's put a lot of hard work in. So it's, um, it's good now to, to be at the place where we are at, um, <clears throat> to finish the last game on a strong note and for myself as well. Yeah, you must be thrilled to have got back and, and involved for the, the business end of the season because you were out for three months and I'm mm. sure when you're out for that long you must question whether you're going to have enough time at the end of the season, enough games for you, for you to get back in. Yeah, it's it's hard. When you're injured it's it's really, really difficult and you know it's it's one of them where there's a lot of uncertainties and, and the issue that I had was very, very frustrating in, in respect. Um, similar to, to Cal's aspect, Cal and Roberts, in terms of you know not knowing how it's going to be and not necessarily having the timeline to say it'll be right in three weeks, six weeks. Um, so I had to deal with that in terms of when it's ready, it's ready. Um, and even then, when I first stepped in for the Ultranim game, um, I think I'd done an interview then and they asked how I how I am and um, you know I still wasn't a hundred percent then. And it was the case of okay, making a decision. Um, you know, speaking with the physios and, and speaking with the manager and whatnot in terms of let's give myself 10 games realistically, whether it's still pain there or not, I want to be playing. Um, so that was a marker that we, we set. Um, and then I stepped into, you know, those last 10 games, still feeling it a little bit um, and still having to work hard off the pitch and do the extras to make sure it's correct. Um, and fortunately, it's... Um, as the games have gone by and it's actually got better but we didn't know we thought it could get worse and will it be the case of we done game on game off and do I need a break here there so um, a lot of uncertainty but I'm really really happy with the way that it's gone and I'm feeling stronger than ever now so I'm very happy yeah and I'm sure you don't want to be taking breaks especially on this uh, since you came back in yeah. you know not seven lost on a great run of form going into the is that, you know, is that the streak the, the lucky streak I'll take that 
I'm sure it's not that Dunlop wins. I'm sure it's not. But how important do you think that is going into a playoff campaign, being at the moment the the fourth team in the league? Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, I think it's really, really good timing because uh, for me personally, from experience and playing playing in this type of dynamic of a playoff and promotion. Um, you don't want to be too early and you don't want to be too late with hitting that good form and I think we've hit it at a really good time. What would it mean to you to go one better than last year and, and get Noss back up to the league? Everything. You know, this this club is a fantastic club. So, you know, for me, everywhere that I go, I want to win. I want promotions. It's the main reason why I came here. So, it's an objective of mine and, and I said before I signed, um, before I signed here that I'd only be willing to come here if, um, if the objective was promotion um, and the club have set that demand and um, us as players we've set that demand so um, you know I'm really really looking forward to it and I'm op optimistic about the playoffs and um, yeah listen we, we go out and put 110% in there's no doubt that we'll be a strong contender so I'm excited. Does the disappointment of the playoff final last year sort of add as a uh, almost an extra motivation for you to sort of write that and, and go one further this time. Yeah, a hundred percent. It's um, you know when you reflect, it, it was painful to to lose, and and you go through you know the semis and the final, and you put that extra work in, and all of these small little details, and then to to fall short, it's it's difficult to take. Um, but at the end of the day you have to use that as fuel to go and win and um, and to get things right. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, we carry that this year, knowing that, you know, we don't want to feel like that again. Um, this league is very, very difficult league. Um, and, you know, we have to be at it. So we go into it full of confidence. Um, and like I say, we're, we've, we're hitting form at a really, really good time. So it's positive. Great stuff. Good to see you back, Richard. Thank you. Thank you. Over to you, Jake. The recording has stopped. Hi, Richard. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Yourself? Yeah, very well. Thank you. Very well. Um, I don't want to dwell on it too much, of course, because it's uh, all in the past now. But um, those few months you were away with injury, did, how difficult was that for you, for you to go through? Very difficult. Uh, if I'm honest, it was um, hard because it was similar to Callum Roberts, the aspect of the uncertainty in terms of not knowing when it's going to be ready and... You know, it wasn't the case of, am I going to be fit in three, six weeks, and I can work towards that. It was literally the case of, we have to, yeah, I was playing on it for six weeks, and it was getting worse and worse, and it got to the point where we said, okay, well, we need to we need to come and rest this completely because it could make it, you know, a serious issue. So, um, coming out of the team and then being patient and almost saying, okay, well, we'll wait and see how it is in three weeks, and then three weeks comes by and it's like, Okay, it's still painful. Four weeks, five weeks, and it was very much so the case of that. So I was working really, really hard in, in terms of the extra stuff and trying to get that strong. And um, and it was almost a case of having to just let it settle down. Yeah. And um, yeah, like I say, it was very, very difficult with the uncertainty. But we got there, and now I'm I'm very happy because that uncertainty is has gone away, and I'm feeling really good. Absolutely. And have you ever had an injury like that before where there's kind of like not been a definitive date as to uh, how long, you know, how long the injury would heal? No, I haven't. I haven't at all. Um, and, you know, like I say, seeing, seeing uh, Cal go through that, you know, I understood that it was, uh, I could see how frustrating it was. Um, and I almost had the idea that I had to mentally be mindful of that uncertainty and, and, and be patient with my body um, and know when is the right time. Um, and, you know, I stepped in with ten, 10 games to go, I think, um, and we met, we set that mark and said, OK, well, this is the mark we're going to we're gonna go in. Um, even if there is pain, we can play through this knowing that I'm, you know, 80% fit or whatever the case. We know that we can push through that period. And I, I just didn't want to miss any more games and, and you know, us falling out of the playoffs was really hard for me to sit and watch so at that time it was like I was itching to get back in and um, and help the team and I didn't care too much about myself or my body I just wanted to get on that pitch but you have to be mindful and you have to be smart long term so um, the physios were great in, in terms of helping me with that and um, yeah now I'm at a point where my body's feeling a lot better so I'm very happy. And, and during that time you were out injured as well of course um, it was 
Neil Ardley was still in charge when you're out and then you come back and manage to get into the first team and all of a sudden it's a brand new regime under, under Ian Birch. And what was that like, having to return from injury under <coughs> a brand new management and a new style and you know new ways of training? You can imagine um, when you're injured, you know, you've got to get your fitness back. That was the first hard hurdle for me that you can you know do running on a, uh, on a treadmill or whatever the case as much as you want but when it comes to match fitness um, it's a totally different ball game um, so that was a very very hard hurdle and then settling in terms of understanding a new style of play and the way we want to play um, and adapting to new positional roles and whatnot um, I had to pick that up very, very quickly. But you know, the manager's been excellent with me and, and, and all the team in terms of helping us understand what he wants from us. Um, and as you can see, it's uh, paying dividends. Yeah, exactly. That I was going to say. Um, <coughs> to the back of that, it seems you have, um, although it is a new regime, you have had to pick things up quickly. You've, mm. you know, you've been thrust back into the, uh, the starting lineup in recent weeks, and you've grabbed your chance with both hands. Yeah, it's been it's been great to, to be back in the side. And like I say, it was frustrating for me to. To, to not be playing and I was desperate to get back and help the team as quickly as I could so uh, I'm really I'm just really happy that you know we've um, we've secured playoffs and um, we've hit really good form and you know it's uh, it's it's positive so I'm excited now to <clears throat> get this uh, this next game underway and and then the playoffs and speaking of the next game of course <laughs> it is uh, it is Bromley what what kind of uh, game are you expecting against them because of course they've got it all to play for it will be difficult. So there's no doubt. Uh, like you say, they've got. You know, it's it's, it's an important game for them. Um, it's a must-win for them. So, you know, for us, we're fully aware of that and understand that they're going to come at us and everything in terms of having you know the home fans there for themselves. Um, but for me, it doesn't change anything. We give it 110 percent. We go at it and do what we've been doing really, really well. Um, and yeah, we make it very, very difficult for them on their turf. And I mean, of course, I know that uh, not to have the, uh, the playoff spot secured, and you know, a win would absolutely cement a home quarter final berth. But with it being, so, like, say, such a must win for Bromley, could that, in essence, play into Notts County's hands a little bit? The fact that they've got more pressure on this than you guys have? Yes, most definitely. And I'm not sure how well they'll deal with that pressure, but mm -hmm. time will tell and we'll see. And we just need to focus on ourselves and, and make sure that we do our jobs properly. Um, and I have no doubt that um, we'll uh, most definitely be giving them a very good game. And, and just finally, on them, um, the on the uh, recent episode of Teams that we had there, one of the former um, Notts County uh, managers, Charlie McParland, say that he thinks uh, uh, Michael Dawes has been really key this season for you know Notts County being able to turn it around, his influence <coughs> in the dressing room, and how closely he can kind of be the link between the players and Ian Birch. Or just in interest from a player's point of view, is that something that you've seen from from Doyle this season, and how and how key has he been throughout this uh, this campaign? He's a leader, um, you know. He's our captain, and he's he's been pivotal for us um, with the transitional periods of you know uh, new managers and and whatnot, and the rocky spells that we had earlier in the season. Um, that leadership is so so key. So, you know, we've been fortunate to have him this season in terms of handling that type of uh, situation. It's very easy when you're winning games and everything going your way. When it's not going your way. Um, you know, you need players that are able to perform under pressure and also on and off the pitch, um, keep keep things in in its you know in its right place. So he's been uh, he's been very beneficial in that aspect. Cool, great. So that's all for me. Thank you for your time and that. Best luck for the weekend, Richard. Thanks Thank so you. much. Anything from you, Lee? Uh, we need to try and keep these all fairly brief now because we've got the, the yeah. Just a, just just a couple from me. Hi, Richard. How are you doing? You okay? I'm good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, I'm all right, surviving. Um, Richard, as one of the, the, the members of the squad from last year that went so close to promotion to the EFL, how much motivation exists within those players that, that were here last season to put right the wrongs of last summer? It's, it's one thing that, you know, you, you don't forget. And for the players that experienced it last season, you know, we, we discuss it in our, in our games, before games, in our training, that we don't drop our standards. Um, and it's an absolute must for us to to make sure that we maintain them good levels of standards on and off the pitch. Um, and you know we've we've managed to to really hit really good form at this moment of time, and and we're positive going into this final game and then the playoffs. So um, you know I think it's it's been really beneficial in terms of having or being able to have the characters that can see that 
painful experience of, of missing out and converting that into, you know, come on, let's get it right, let's do it this year. So, you know, it's, there's no doubt that we're fueling to go and ready to go with that. Uh, how much of it does it still play in your mind what happened last summer going into sort of the playoffs this time around? To be honest, it hasn't crossed my mind at all. And I think you have to be able to uh, to get that out of your mind quickly. And we did that at the start of start of the season. Um, and you have to be able to to convert that negative into a positive as quickly as you can. Um, and that's that's the most important thing. So you know we're going into it with a fresh mind, knowing that this is a new season, and knowing that you know this is. Uh, a new manager that's come in, a new style of play, a new chapter. Um, we've got, you know, a, a totally different situation from last season, so we mustn't dwell on that too much. Um, and you know, we we go into it as as we need to go into even this Saturday. Although it's secured playoffs, for us it's an absolute must win, and for us it's important that we go out and give 110 percent, and that's the mentality that we need to maintain. Top man, lovely stuff. Thank Pleasure. you very much, Pete. Hi Richard, you're right. Hello, mate. Um, just keeping on the uh, sort of aspect of learning from uh, the playoffs last season, is there anything you're approaching differently this season as a squad? Yes, I, I mean, looking at it, I, in a way I, I've been able to see things, uh, being injured for a small sp uh, spell and, and, and looking at it off the pitch and, and being on the pitch. Um, we've had rocky spells and, and difficult times without, this meeting is being recorded. without question this season um, but it's easy when things are going your way but when things are not going your way it's how the team unites and comes together and I, I can guarantee you now the team that we have um, I've seen a lot of that this season so you know that unity is there and that is critical in the promotions that I've played in um, that has played a pivotal part and you know we have that And obviously fifth at the um, moment, but would you say as a, one of the playoffs teams, your form at the moment makes you probably the team nobody wants to face? Yeah, uh, I, I, I've heard that's the case. Um, but to be honest with you, it, it's something that we just need to, uh, um, you know, fo be sing single minded in a way in terms of just focusing on ourselves, doing what we've been doing. Um, making sure that we, we continue to do that and we uh, go into this next game um, giving it 100% um, and there's no doubt that if we are our best that no team will want to come up against us and you know I'm confident that we'll, we'll be strong contenders for sure Perfect, that's all for me, thanks Anything from you Alex finally? The yeah. recording has stopped Just a um, few quick ones if that's alright um, so you, last week and you were back in front of the Meadow Lane crowd, what was that like? Unbelievable, just so good to, to have, for so many different reasons to be honest with you. I mean just see, even in a warm up before the game started and seeing the fans and hearing all the roars and the atmosphere, um, it was just so, such a good feeling and you know that, that atmosphere is, you just can't, you can't replace that, it's priceless. The fans are so important. Um, in football so that was you know a great thing to have and, and the way that we played and our performance um, you know topped it off to be honest with you so I was really happy you, that the day couldn't have gone better if I'm honest and so obviously that was brilliant last week but this week going to have everyone not exactly cheering you on so that, how is that <laughs> going to be? <laughs> it's, it's football uh, I look forward to these type of games I love it so I'm excited um, there's no doubt it's going to be a difficult game. We need to just focus on ourselves. Um, and although playoffs is secured, that doesn't change anything for us. We go into it looking to win. Uh, we're positive and, and we know it's going to be a difficult game. Um, and it's a must win for Bromley. So we'll be prepared and, and make sure that we give it 110%.